कन्सल्ट विजय शिंदे आय एम अ सन ऑफ द पेशंट नररी विठलराव शिंदे वी आर फ्रॉम लातूर महाराष्ट्र माय फादर वॉज ॲडमिटेड ॲट लातूर हॉस्पिटल बट इट्स कंडिशन इज व्हेरी क्रिटिकल अँड वी लॉज द होप्स बट कोइन्सिडेंटली ऑन नाईन्थ ऑफ ऑगस्ट डॉक्टर विश्वसरन केम फॉर कॉन्फरन्स देन आवर डॉक्टर कन्सल्ट विथ हिम डॉक्टर विश्वसरन सर देन ही सजेस्टेड अस दॅट ओनली वन ऑप्शन इज देअर इकमो सिस्टेम टू इम्प्रूव्ह द लंग्स कंडिशन अँड हर्ट कंडिशन अँड वी हॅव टू शिफ्ट फ्रॉम लातूर टू यशोदा हॉस्पिटल ॲट हैदराबाद इमिडिएटली टॉक विथ यशोदा हॉस्पिटल टीम द यशोदा हॉस्पिटल टीम अराउंड टेन टू फिफ्टीन डॉक्टर अँड स्टाफ अँड वन ॲम्ब्युलन्स केम टू लातूर अराउंड नाईन पी एम ऑन नाईन्थ ऑगस्ट देन टू आवर्स दे टूक द ऑल प्रोसिजर ऑफ इकमो सपोर्ट अँड फ्रॉम टेन्थ नून वी स्टार्ट जर्नी फ्रॉम लातूर टू हैदराबाद ऑन टेन्थ अर्ली मॉर्निंग फाईव्ह थर्टी वी केम हिअर अँड हिअर डॉक्टर ट्रीटेड व्हेरी वेल वॉट आर दी हँडल व्हेरी वेल देन आय गॉट सम कॉन्फिडन्स दॅट माय फादर कॅन बी द सेव्ह अँड ही कॅन इम्प्रूव्ह हिअर इन बिट्वीन सम हडल्स केम बट अल्टिमेटली नाव द स्टेज इज के माय फादर इज आउट ऑफ डेंजर अँड नाव अराउंड सेवंटी पर्सेंट ही रिकवर्ड हॉस्पिटल सर्व्हिस इज व्हेरी गुड आय एम सॅटिस्फाय विथ द वॉट एव्हर द ट्रीटमेंट ही गेव टू डॉक्टर टू माय फादर ॲज माय फादर्स सम ब्लिडिंग इन ब्रेन किडनी फेल्युअर इन सच कंडिशन्स ऑल्सो डॉक्टर गेव द वॉट एव्हर द बेस्ट ट्रीटमेंट अँड वॉट एव्हर द बेस्ट मेडिसिन टू माय फादर हेल्थ इम्प्रूवमेंट थँक यू मच ऑल द स्टाफ ऑफ ऑल एशोद हॉस्पिटल Hi everyone I am Dr KC Misra I am the HOD of critical care at Yasoda Hospital Somajiguda This is a tale of a case which is very very close to a lot of us who are working here in uh, Yasoda Somajiguda let it be our critical care team our pulmonologist team the team of respiratory therapist the nurses trying relentlessly our cardiothoracic surgeons and all because we are in the evening time one of the day we got a call from latur which is around 300 km from here there is a case which was being treated at one of the local hospital at latur having severe ards ards means severe infection of the lungs where they are not able to maintain their oxygen levels and patient was in a condition where would not have survived if we are not thinking beyond ventilator and conventional treatment for a patient having ARDS there comes the role of ECMO ECMO is extra corporeal therapy by which we can support either the heart or lung or both of them when both of them are failing or one of them is failing in our case it was the lung which was failing badly he was not able to maintain the oxygen levels so there is only one way to make the patient survive is to start ECMO as early as possible in the meantime even if it is around 300 km from hyderabad the patient was not in a condition sent to travel all the way from latur so the only one way to think of saving the patient is to go to latur initiate ecmo there and bring the patient on ecmo to hyderabad to our institute that is yasoda hospital somajiguda so in the evening time there is a team of around 20 people went to latur the team consists of doctors like our intensivist then uh, cardiothoracic surgeons we had nurses and we had even our perfusionist arrived at uh, our hospital and we can transport the patient safely to our hospital after coming to our hospital there were many challenges what the patient had one of them is is consciousness or the way the patient should respond once we decrease the sedation and all usually patient on ventilator will be on sedation after stopping everything also patient was not responding well then we have done a ct scan of the brain which shown a small bleed bleeding is a very dangerous thing where we cannot like do the conventional way the way we do ecmo or manage ecmo patients usually patient on ecmo they require anticoagulation a thing which causes blood to be thinned and the bleeding chances increases in those Cases. basically if somebody is having some bleeding somewhere there we cannot give these in blood thinners like anticoagulants after looking at the brain bleed we counsel the relatives they wanted to continue because bleed was small and because of that bleed we have to stop all the possible anticoagulants or blood thinners what we are supposed to give in any patient who is on ecmo after going through a lot of literature we have to do that and we have managed the patient on ecmo without a single drop of anticoagulants or antiplatelets for around 7 days during that time there was a roller coaster 
the right for the patient patient had uh, different forms of infection because patient was in outside hospital for around 7 or 8 days before coming to our hospital so there was many hospital acquired infection he landed up in kidney failure he required dialysis with all those roller coaster rides slowly the patient improved after almost 7 days of ecmo we could remove the ecmo and patient slowly improved we could remove the ox ventilator then the patient got discharged from our hospital to their home place that is latur at maharashtra to a smaller hospital nursing home where he was managed thereafter so this is a case we all proud of starting from like uh, the team work to start the ecmo in a very remote place in a very small hospital bringing the patient all the way almost 300 km on road see bringing patients by flight is much easier than traveling on road 300 km with all those issues while traveling after traveling we had lot of roller coaster ride more so with then bleed in the brain we could manage the case for 7 days we could remove ecmo we could remove ventilator and we discharge the patient to their hometown to a smaller nursing home in a stable condition that is one of the greatest achievement in our ecmo patients what we have treated over the last two or three years lot of ecmo patients got treated is one of the special case what we remember or we are going to remember throughout our life thank you very much